my channel i'm so glad to have you guys hear me today louise edwards thank you for being the first one to comment hey back to you and in this video we're going to be reviewing my madam glam gel polishes that i just got in i just love these colors today they're just so pretty and also they added a gel polish remover so this one is kiss on the cheek a beautiful orange this one is because i said so that's something i would say like every day and the pink one is beautiful it's called baby nest this pink is so pretty oh my god and then they have gel polish remover now i don't know if you've seen this on youtube uh, you know everywhere else but um pretty much it removes gel polishes and of course i'm going to be using madame glam's little pocket little led little lamp for this and their base coat and top coat this is my favorite gel polish company you guys you guys already know and if you guys are interested you could use my discount card ev30 for your madame glam purchases so i have these little sticks over here and they're plastic of course um and i also am going to use my thumb so you guys could know what it looks like you know what it does when it's on plastic and on your fingers so we're going to apply a thin coat of base coat but you have to prep the nail first um like remove the shiny surface of the plastic and on your nail of course you have to prep before you put the base gel or it's just going to peel off you don't want that to happen so i left this on here for the whole time until it turned off and this one is my favorite pink one look at this one coat i always do like a very very thin coat because it helps with chipping and it helps you not get that bubble you know in the gel polishes so yes the first coat i always do is always streaky it's not because of the brand but it's because of how i apply it i always apply it very very thin and then i cure it this also helps with you know it being under cured because if you do it too thick then only the top will be cured and in the middle will be like really really juicy still so with all gel polishes thin layers are your best friend like if you do thin layers you don't have to worry about it bubbling or chipping just keep that in mind so i'm going to put this back in our little pocket madam glam little thing and uh like i said i press the button one time and i let it go through and then when it turns off then it's ready so if you were going to actually do this with poly gel, you'd have to do it like three times. So this is just made mostly, I use this mostly just to cure gel polish, you know, when I don't want to bring out my big lamp. So this is one of my little favorite ones. I don't have another one because I replaced them all because of this one. So this is a second coat and these gel polishes are very opaque. So, so beautiful. I just love it. I can't wait until we open up so i could do this on my clients because these colors are so pretty and once again you got to put it in a lamp so we're going again and we're going to use our gel top coat madam glam gel top coat and you don't have to use madam glam if you don't have madam glam i mean if you only have like one madam glam you could always use whatever you have but this I have to do Madame Glam because it's all about Madame Glam. So remember when you put a thin layer of top coat to seal the free edges and all the edges so it does not chip off. So in the directions in the bottle, it does not say to buff the top coat off first. So I'm not going to buff these on this plastic. But on my thumb, I'm going to buff on my thumb to see how fast it works when you buff actually the top coat first so these I have not buffed yet these we're just going to put the gel polish remover on top we're going to wait five minutes and we're going to see what it does now there is instructions alert directions in the back of it it says to apply in a thick layer so keep that in mind because I didn't apply the purple one in a thick layer I did it like a little bit on a thin side but it still worked you would have to make this thick um for it to actually work in the five minute range but if it's too thin it's gonna it's just going it, it'll work but it'll be longer it'll take it'll take longer the consistency is very very like chunky 
um, kind of reminds me of a thick, gluey, like, it's not really pleasant. <laughs> it doesn't stink, though. I mean, it, it, it just, it's just really, I don't know how to explain it. It's like really thick. It, it's, I don't even know how to, the, the texture, because I'm not feeling it, but you was to have to put this on in a thick layer and if you don't it'll take a longer so this is me putting on this thickly i did all three of them and then i came back because i was just like well you know let me put more on top of it because i felt like i didn't put enough but if they say thick layers but it already comes out of the bottle really thick so i'm not really sure how many coats you know you would have to put on but i did put on two coats because the first coat took forever for it to peel off so i did put two coats of this because it was you know too thin for me and um that's what it says put it on a thick layer so if you use this it's not working it has to be on thick uh yeah so this one didn't stick the other one that i had gotten stunk so bad and i was scared to use that i was even scared to do a video so this is what it looks like after five minutes but this is two layers of it after five minutes um the first layer did not did not do well because it was too thin like i said so um remember this is on plastic and because i apply the gel polish thin um it's hard to remove and that's the point you know so that's why but for it being on plastic it it, it came off you know it does look like i am putting a little bit pressure um peeling it off and that's not it is because i fast forward this part so i'm not sitting here forever <laughs> trying to take off this polish off of this stick over here but yes keep in mind that this is on plastic and it's not going to come off as easily as it would on your own fingers but for it being on plastic it's coming off like with no effort you just have to peel it off and make sure all of it off so the purpose of this is for you don't have to experience the like the dust when you file off your gel polishes or anything like that it's supposed to help with the mess it's still gonna make a mess but not a powder mess so i really like that five minutes you know one hand you are done and then you know you can move on with your next gel mani i mean i think it's really good to have i really like that it didn't um melt the tip now i know there's so many oh, there's so many like gel polish removers out there the first one i tried melted the tip <laughs> so i like i said i was kind of like a, a little bit scared reviewing this but this one is safe it's made out of actual organic things so <clears throat> there is no hard chemicals in here so you don't have to worry about that so <clears throat> i was a little bit scared also to touch the gel polish you see how easy it comes off but you have to peel it but it didn't sting it didn't hurt my fingers i didn't get no irritation and the only mess it made was this so i recommend this to anyone that hates filing off gel polish that hates soaking off you know gel nails that hates the mess now this has a little mess but it's so easy to clean up you don't have to worry about powder getting everywhere and that's just one thing that i hate i hate the mess i hate filing on camera because of the mess so this one is okay i could deal with this little bit of mess i don't know how you guys feel but i feel like this is a really good product and see easy clean up there you go so i'm going to move on and do my own thumb so i could show you what it is and what it looks like and how easy it is to remove from your own fingernail other than a plastic so i'm doing the same thing but this time we're going to buff that uh top coat off and the only reason why i'm doing this is for an experiment just to see if the gel polish remover works faster when you buff it off so i didn't buff off the other plastic ones so i buffed off this one and you want to add a thick layer like i said it already is thick but you need more than that and you want to be careful and not touch the skin do not ever touch the skin with this stuff don't wipe your skin off with the brush if you get it on your skin don't touch your skin at all 
Okay, this is so important. You don't want to expose yourself to this. We don't know what it does. You know, we don't know if it's gonna what it what what it really does. So like, be careful. Do not be in a rush when you do this. If you're doing this on clients, be careful. Everybody is different. Everybody's more sensitive than others. Like I'm very sensitive, so I only put it on top of the gel polish. Now I did experience a little bit of tightening. But it wasn't so extreme. It didn't, it, and it's not like it burned, it didn't itch, it didn't irritate, but there was a little bit of pressure. I felt like my nail was pinching, um, like a pressure, like, you know, when you pinch your nails together, that's what it felt like, but it wasn't painful. It, it was just something that I noticed, and I felt like, well, maybe that's just because it was working. But it did take me quite of a bit of time to do this on my um on my finger and i feel like it's because i buffed it um why it took longer so did it, i did notice that it did um it did peel off from my free edge and from the sidewalls really good but it didn't take five minutes it took about like seven minutes and i feel that's because i i did buff it maybe that's why i'm not sure i did all the steps and this one took longer on my finger so it could be that i didn't add enough of the gel polish remover but it still worked and it worked really good for me so if you could tell it's already bubbling after like it was like six minutes it started to bubble that's what you want to see it bubble and once it starts to bubble then you could peel it off i don't recommend you peeling it off with your finger because like i said we don't know you know exactly what chemicals react with your skin so take your cuticle pusher or something that you could scrape this off with and be safe, you know? So I am waiting for this to happen. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like bubbling and it's actually a satisfying feeling. <laughs> you don't think you would feel it, but I did feel it and it was really satisfying. It felt like little bubbles, <clears throat> like a whole bunch of little bubbles on my finger. So I'm taking the end of my cuticle pusher and I'm just scraping it off now. <clears throat> This is why I said I don't think I added enough to this area because some of some areas are not coming off, you see? But it did come off after, you know, I did put a little bit of pressure on it. Not too much, but there it is. It just came off. Now, even though it took seven minutes, that's like still faster than a soak off. That's still faster then you found it off so can you imagine you doing this to all five of the nails and just sitting there for seven minutes while you work on the other nails that you know this will be all gone in less than 30 minutes that's time and time is money do you understand so i really like this i do recommend this to everyone actually but always practice safety first you have to be safe all right so i do recommend when you do use this to apply a base coat because this actually takes everything off this took off the base coat too so i could only imagine if i didn't have the base coat i wonder how fast it would have taken off and i think that's the problem the problem was i added a base coat then i added the color and then i added the top coat but that's what you do with gel polishes and i wasn't going to skip any i wasn't going to skip any steps just because you know of this product so um please keep in mind you need a base coat just to be on the safe side because when this stuff penetrates through this gel polish it goes all the way through so protect your fingernail <laughs> just protect it you don't have to be so rough be gentle with it we're not in a race um if you're rough you know you could actually scrape off layers of your nail plate um, especially if you don't add a base coat but for me, I did add a base coat and I'm just slo very soft. I'm just, you know, peeling off the gel polish. So this is another good way to recycle your nail tips. Like I saved mine. <laughs> I know, I know they're cheap to buy, but sometimes it takes forever to wait for it in the mail. So if you like do a design and you don't have any of these practice tips, like you could definitely recycle them. <laughs> so I, I did take some of the ones that I have that I don't longer have any more of that gel polish and I did peel it off and I saved it. 
So I feel like this is really good to have. Everyone needs to have this, you know. Um, like I said, the base coat is um is still on here, but um like I said, I'm just peeling it off, and that's pretty that's pretty much it. It really worked. Seven minutes for my finger, and then on a plastic, it it was like five minutes, exactly five minutes. But I put two layers on the plastic tip, and I only put one layer on my thumb, so. Two layers on the thumb, I guess, is best than one layer. So as you can tell, this is not coming off because it's on plastic. And because I buff it really good and I apply thin layers, that's why. So if you guys have any questions, let me know on the comment section. And if you guys are interested in buying Madam Glam's gel polish remover, don't forget to use my discount code ev30 to save you some coins everybody should save some coins i just feel like a discount code is so necessary it's just so necessary if you have any problems you can also contact madam glam and they will help you with this but it's not that hard it's actually easy and it's super safe i didn't have no allergic reactions i didn't have no itchies no irritations no swelling um it didn't even stink it, it, it felt like I was just putting on top coat over my nails and then that's it. It was that easy and I love it. And the texture it left on my thumb was very smooth. It wasn't rough. Like, you know, when you peel off your gel polishes, you, you get a rough surface. This wasn't. It left it very, very smooth. So I really like this stuff and I hope you guys love this video. And thank you for watching and staying here with me today and hearing me chat about this stuff. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.